1,900 years ago, a huge pit was discovered on a remote island in the southern sea of Beluska. With a diameter of around a thousand meters, its depth remains unknown. To this day, no one has ever seen the bottom of the Great Pit. In a world where nearly everything has been uncovered and explored, it is the sole remaining unconquered castle. The Great Pit has a captivating power that sometimes takes hold of a person and refuses to let go. Valuable and dangerous primeval creatures, mysterious relics beyond comprehension, a city of gold set to rest in the far reaches of the netherworld. For the past 1,900 years, all of these things and more have been luring people to venture into its depths. With a spirit of adventure for the unknown and countless legends luring them on, the Abyss has swallowed up enough lives to be worthy of its name. The peculiar force field in the Abyss prevents its observation from above ground. Therefore, surveying is carried out in person. The surveyors, each chasing the dream of striking it rich, would deliver their reports to the surface from deep inside the Abyss by launching mail balloons. Those who challenged the giant pit began to be referred to as cave raiders. Right around the time that name stuck, their bases on the surface grew so large they surrounded the entire circumference of the pit. The city they eventually formed in time became Orth, the place people call home. to call yourself a legendary cave raider when you're just a red whistle. Huh? Are you sure about that? All the white whistles started as red whistles. So why would it be weird for me to be a legendary cave raider? White whistles are admirable. I mean, they're the heroes of the country. But admiring them isn't exactly the same as wanting to be one. You know, they're truly the best of the best among us cave raiders. It's a bit too much for me, but you want to be a white whistle, right? Yep. From the moment I made a white whistle, I'll go all out and make a ton of legends. Um, for today's cave raiding, we get to go deeper, right? And then deeper in the next one. I keep on doing that. It's just a matter of time before I become a white whistle! A matter of time? Setting that white whistle stuff aside, I just want to hurry up and become a blue whistle. And then my goal is to become a moon whistle. Uh-huh. When you're a moon whistle, you are, of course, going to aim to become a black whistle, right? Well, most likely, I won't try to become a black whistle. But if you don't become a black whistle, you can't become a white whistle, the highest rank! It's okay. Rather than be a black whistle, I have something else I want to do. Something you want to do? Hey, you three! Are you guys even listening? <laughs> well, were you listening? Uh, of course! I was really listening! Oh, then in that case, come over here, Rico.
If you are really listening to me, you should be able to answer my question. Yes! Well then, answer me. Why is it that cave raiders who venture in the abyss never return home? of the abyss this time listen up as long as we are human there is no way to escape the curse of the abyss during the return trip from the abyss a cave raider experiences intense afflictions to their body these are called strains this mysterious phenomenon of unknown origin is also called the curse of the abyss the strains become more and more severe the deeper down you go Strains encountered while ascending from the depth's first layer to the surface are mild dizziness and nausea. From the second layer to the first layer are intense nausea, headaches, and numbness of the extremities. From the third layer, in addition to the other effects, complications include losing your sense of balance as well as visual and auditory hallucinations. From the fourth layer, intense pain throughout the body and bleeding from every orifice. From the fifth layer, the loss of all senses, resulting in confusion and self-harm. Returning from the sixth layer means the loss of your humanity, or even death. The strain of ascending from the seventh layer is certain death. But don't worry, you guys, the red whistles, will descend up to 400 meters. In other words, you'll still be within the depths of the first layer. The strains you'll feel are mild dizziness and nausea. You won't feel much after you acclimate to them. All right. Regarding our upcoming cave raiding, I've divided the area up and assigned everyone a spot. You're unlikely to face much danger from primeval creatures and falling, but just in case, don't forget to pack your whistles and smoke screens. That's all. Any questions? Very well. I have something to say, too. <clears throat> There's just one thing I want to say. Those with whistles shouldn't think they're going out there simply to learn. Be mindful that you are students of the Guild's orphanage. Strive to earn as much as you can. Do not shame your parents, who fell so nobly. Oh, there is one more thing. That makes two things. That makes two things. That's two things. Helping yourself to relics is strictly forbidden. Relics provide valuable income to the orphanage. So pocketing them is inexcusable. No matter the punishment, I don't want to hear any complaints. He knows it was me! Was it the Star Compass? The Steel Umbrella? Or the Sun Sphere? Next time, the culprit will suffer more than simply being strung up naked. Keep that in mind. Oh, she doesn't know! What's that? Uh, it's nothing! I will personally go over each of your goals this mission. Whenever you are ready, come see me to hear your mission. solo at about the same spot as last time, from 150 meters. Lita! 
Yes, Rico? What is it? That's a brazen request. Tell me, why exactly does one go cave raiding? Oh, um, because there's a pit out there? No, it's because it's your job. This kind of thing is why you're still wetting the bed. To begin with, if you were to go down 400 meters with your current level of experience, simply heading back up again would be all you could handle. You're used to the spot I've assigned you. That should allow you to cave raid more efficiently. Am I wrong? Well, I want to quickly build up experience at deeper depths. Become a white whistle as soon as I can, and then I want to catch up to my mother. I'll descend down as far as she did, and then. Not this time. But. All right. Let's see just how determined you are. If your hole at tomorrow's cave raid is assessed to be the most valuable among all the red whistles, then I'll consider it for next time. Understood. Well then, investigate the assigned area and bring back ten relics.
super heavy. Uh, it's super heavy. Oh, yeah. I'll get Nat to help. Hey, Nat! 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 Where are you? Hey, if you're there, then say something! Crimson Splitjaw, what's it doing up this far in the abyss? Was. Maybe it was all in my head, but I feel like whatever drove that snake away was answering my plea for help. Maybe it was even my own personal knight in shining armor or something. I have to find out what it was. Gotta look a little bit further. I have to see it with my own eyes. being a kid who looked like this in the Red Whistles. Uh, hello there! Huh? 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 Oh wait! He's not breathing! I have to hurry and resuscitate him! Huh? He feels... Uh, he's... not human! A... Uh, machine just a moment ago. What fuel does he run on? No food work? I mean, he's built like a human after all. Hmm? But still, where did... he come from? Ugh. I was somewhat 
able to bring him here, but I can't go any farther. Hey, Rico! Are you okay, Rico? Did that big snake thing come over this way? Mad. Good. I'm glad you're okay. What the heck happened to you? Were you attacked? Uh-huh. But that snake fled down the cliff. I think we're safe now. Okay, that stupid thing trashed almost all the relics that I collected. But I guess maybe that's what saved me from being eaten. Mad. So he absolutely doesn't remember that I saved him. By the way, Rico... What is this? Did you kill him? Gee, no! I found him passed out and carried him here, but... It seems he isn't human. What? what really Hey, Nat. Let's take him back together. Help me. What? That's such a troublesome thing to do. First of all, th this kid, who in the world is he? Well, it's kind of a long story. So, he is a robot or a relic or something? It's really hard to believe, but... He isn't normal for sure. Even though it's you talking, he really is right here in front of us. Why do you always doubt my words? Taking him home means it's a secret from leader, right? Of course. If he is a relic, you would be stealing again, you know. Mm. Wait a minute, Rico. Let me think about it. <sighs> I gave it some thought. I know you won't stop even if I told you. So in that case, I will help you. But do you think it's okay to move him already? Yeah, let's carry him. Bring him to my room without anyone noticing. I'll hold his hands so... Uh, Nat, can you get his legs? All right. First, let's do some research on this robot boy. Looks like you made it back safe. How did the cave rating go? Um, about that. Someone there? Maybe we should try turning the power up a little bit? Children's voices? Whatever. I think I'll sleep a bit longer. Rico, set the dial to two. On it! Rico, I think it's actually on 20. What?
you electricity would do the trick! Seriously? I'm surprised he's alive. <coughs> Are you okay? What? What's going on? Hey, hey, robot boy! Recognize me? You saved me! My name is Rico. You can call me Big Sis if you want. So, what's your name? Tell me, robot boy! Uh... I feel bad about replying to a question with a question, but there's something I'd like to ask you. He spoke? How cute! What? What? Ask whatever you want! Where is this place? Here? This is my room! Sinister implements. And that pain just now. Do you guys work as torturers? Huh? Well, Rico's room is actually an old torture chamber. She was always getting in trouble, so she got moved here. Anyway, we all work as cave raiders. Hey, hey, robot boy! Why don't you tell us about yourself now? What's your name? What kind of stuff can you do? Oh, and who made you? It's been bothering me from the start. But, am I really a robot? You bet you are! Electricity made you move? You totally withstood fire! And you didn't even get a single scratch on you! Ugh... Wait a minute... You don't even remember that you're a robot? Maybe that jolt of electricity we gave him messed with his memory. What did you do now? All the lights in the orphanage are out. What? I think we overdid it by going full throttle earlier. Hey, Rico, do your best to fool him somehow. Me? I, I can't! We're gonna escape out the window. Let's go, Shiggy. Kiwi. Okay. Okay, Robot Boy. Don't come out of there. Got it? Something horrible's bound to happen if you do! Huh? Worse than that pain earlier? Hey, Rico! Open up! Uh, okay! What the heck did you do this time? Uh, nothing much, really. Uh, uh, more importantly, he just banged my knee. Got it at a bad angle, too. <sighs> Let me look at your room. Uh, it hurts really bad. I hit it in the worst possible way. Just show me inside your room. Doesn't seem like anything is wrong. Robot Boy is gone? Hey, do you have anything to say for yourself? S sorry, I won't do it again. Look, I get that you're frustrated since your cave rating didn't go very well. That said, there's simply no sense in causing a blackout at the orphanage. I think I'll have you clean the orphanage. And write both an apology and an essay about what you did wrong. Come on, now. Oh, I'm sorry! <sighs> Are they gone? I get it now. If he was to find me here, there'd be trouble. I instinctively stretched my arm and hid in the attic to dodge the situation, but... I can't believe my arm extends like that. What am I? 
Is what the girl said earlier true? Am I a robot? <sighs> I finally finished the essay. And... Yeah, I searched all over my body, but couldn't find anything like a name. It's inconvenient to not have a name, so can I name you? How about Reg? Reg? Do you like it? Yeah, if I had to say yes or no, then yeah, I do. Then, you are Reg from now on. Sure, call me Reg. Where did the name come from? That's the name of a dog I used to have. D a dog? Irredeemable. So, what are we gonna do now? This guy, I mean Reg, is a relic, right? How long are you gonna hide him? Forever! I'll keep him hidden in my room! That should work, right? Highly unlikely. They found out about the dog you had. Being treated like a dog, as I expected. Now everybody, may I have a moment, please? There's something about him I'd like to discuss with you. I did some thorough research through the compilation of recorded relics. Recorded relics? It's got all the major relics that have been unearthed. It's basically an illustrated field guide. Relics have grades to them. They are recorded and sorted by their values. Okay, I get it now. Grade 4 relics are regarded as insignificant, or are of uncertain use. Also, they are incapable of replacing existing tools. Grade 3 relics are extremely valuable or useful. They can help with cave raiding. Grade 2 relics introduce entirely new concepts and can change people's way of life. In addition, they are very useful when cave raiding. And grade one relics? These are the ones that can change the balance of power between countries. Objects that are extremely useful when cave raiding in the deeper levels. And then, the most amazing of all, special grade relics! Special grade relics have the potential to grant the power to change many countries, or the world! <sighs> that is correct. This is the case in the latest style of sorting. Hey, Reg! The special grade relic, the Unheard Bell, was discovered by my mom! Rico's mom was the legendary white whistle called Liza the Annihilator. What a scary name. Wonder what she did. My mom is who I aspire to be. Shiggy, let's go back to Reg. It'll take forever if Rico starts that story. Boo, come on. <laughs> Sorry, Rico. So, I searched everywhere, but even looking through all the grade 2, grade 1, and special grade relics, I didn't see any relics like Reg. Reg's features are not listed on the relic record, and supposing they were, they'd be classified above even grade 1. His body seems to be a bundle of special grade relics. He might even be one of the most valuable finds in the history of the Abyss. A so-called Obod, a supreme treasure of the Netherworld. That's super awesome! 
Not even my mother ever found one of those! That means we helped ourselves to a supreme treasure of the netherworld. Uh, what if we just announce our find now? Most likely, they'll take him from us immediately and conceal his existence as a supreme treasure of the netherworld. They'll probably even dismantle him piece by piece. Really? We're in a really bad situation. What shall we do? Hmm. Let's just have Leader meet Reg as a human. Seriously, Shiggy? Ugh. Will this plan work that smoothly? Turns out my worries were unfounded. The leader, Jidawo, was suspicious, but in the end accepted me. And thus, I became a student at Belchero Orphanage and set my sights on becoming a cave raider. <laughs>
You're back. It seems that you have completed the mission. Let me get you the reward. Before I knew it, two months had passed. It was surprising how easily I became accustomed to it all. Ah, there you are, Reg. We're gonna go to the Grand Pier together. <laughs> So oh, this is the Grand Pier. I suppose it's a fine mechanical bridge pier. But it sure looks skinny and unstable stretched out above this huge pit. There are so many people gathered around here. Obviously. I mean, Uncle Habbo's squad just got back. It's their triumphant return. Uncle Habbo? The man who lives with Auntie. Ah, from the spice shop. He must be Laffy's husband. Habo and his team went all the way to the inverted forest. I'm going to ask him just how upside down it really is. Oh, it's Uncle Habo! Uncle Habo! Oh, Rico! I just got back. Hey, Uncle Habo! Did you bring any amazing relics back? I sure did, though it's not really a relic. Rico, it has something to do with you. Huh? With me? Yes. Look at this. White whistle? This is... It is. A white whistle, a sovereign of annihilation. What? It's Liza's. Liza the Annihilator's white whistle. Liza? That's... Yes. My mom's name. After ten years, Liza's soul, her white whistle, came up to the city of Orth. Mom's white whistle. Is it... really okay for me to keep this? Yes, of course. Even if I'm just a red whistle? That's all right. Unlike other whistles, white whistles can only be used by their original owners. Not only does each white whistle have its own unique design, they're all made out of relics. And thanks to the hidden insignia each of them possess, it's impossible to counterfeit. Um, that's not really what I meant. Isn't there someone more worthy of it than me? Like a former member of my mother's squad or something? Don't be shy. It's customary for a relative to be the one to receive a white whistle like this. Everyone's fine with the tradition. If that's too heavy a responsibility to bear, you can always trust it to the guild. <sighs> Rico? I... I'll take it. Ah, that's a good decision. Besides that, Liza was also carrying a sealed envelope. A sealed envelope? Yes. We received both it and that white whistle from a sentry at a monitoring base called Seeker Camp. Since the envelope belonged to a white whistle, it's currently being closely examined, but you should be able to see it soon, Rico. A sealed envelope from my mom. Are you saying it's a letter? <laughs> I see. I suppose it is. It's surely a letter addressed to you, Rico. See you later. I'll contact you when you're able to see the sealed envelope. Are, Rico. Leader is looking for you. Uh, Rig. Are you okay? You look a little down. 
Well, I was thinking about my mom a little. Hey, remember when I said I admire my mom? I was two years old when my mom went on her last dive. Last dive? When a white whistle goes down to the sixth layer, if they do, they can never come back. Wow. So, that's why I barely remember anything about her. Is there anyone around that knew Liza well? I heard that Leader was Mom's apprentice. Leader? If so, that's perfect. Why don't you take this opportunity to ask about Liza, since he's looking for you? Yeah, let's do it. There you are, Rico. Hey, leader? What is it? What kind of person was my mother? Despite being one of the White Whistles I admire so much, I can't even remember her face. I'm not exactly sad. But I feel like someone I aspired to be just suddenly disappeared. As a cave raider, she was every bit the legendary White Whistle people say she was. That said, I hardly even got the chance to go cave raiding with her. I only really know Liza as she was on the surface. Arrogant and mischievous. She was a heavy drinker and quick to get in fights. She would take her pranks too far and you could never tell how honest she was being. On top of that, she had a horribly unbalanced diet. If she wasn't a white whistle, she would have just been another weirdo. <sighs> Sounds like an irredeemable person. Yeah, that is exactly right. Really. She was a total mess. Uh, it's been 12 years already. No, it was a bit longer than that, actually. Liza had just become pregnant with you. But despite her physical state, she had to go down to the fourth layer with a survey team. Huh? But why? It was a special mission ordered by the country's powers that be. As a white whistle, she had no choice. She was to retrieve the unheard bell, a special grade relic that had been discovered in the depths. Her team's cave raiding proved arduous. It went on for 10 months. They had repeated run-ins with foreign cave raiders. The survey team was nearly wiped out. It was at this time your father, a black whistle named Torka, lost his life. And in the midst of it all, you were born. Huh? Then Rico was born inside the abyss? Yeah. You were born in the depths of the abyss. What? How was I able to come back up from such a deep place? You can thank the curse-repelling vessel that Liza took along with her for that. But to bring you back with the vessel, Liza gave up on the unheard bell. Now, don't make the mistake of thinking she was only doing what any mother would do. You see... Special grade relics can change the balance between countries. Retrieving even one will enrich the city and ensure a squad's future. She was faced with having to make an incredibly difficult decision. And yet, Liza chose you. Prestige and riches, her comrades and their trust. You were so important to her that she was willing to give up all of that. Mom. But now... In the face of the pressure of having a mother of such stature, you're trying to choose your own path. And thus, the one she risked her life to protect is still going strong to this day. Uh, leader, I'm gonna do my best! Chasing after Ma- After Liza, the White Whistle! I received a message from the Cave Raider headquarters. They've given you permission to go view the contents of the envelope from Liza. Go report. Cave Raider Headquarters! Got it! Greg, go with her. She's unreliable, so watch her for me. Roger.
been waiting for you. Now I'll open the sealed envelope from Liza the Annihilator. I will accompany you, but please do not touch anything. What is all this? Mother went down there ten years ago. Yet none of these are in the field guide. I've never even seen any of them before. This is... That looks like me. Yeah, but some parts are different here and there. Human-like silhouette. Identity unknown. I encountered it while approaching the seventh layer. For a little while now, it has been intently observing me. Damn idiot. I'm watching you too, you know. It's about the size of a human child and looks to be dressed in rags. Its limbs and head seem too large for its body. Some kind of armor, perhaps? It didn't give off the impression of being a hollow. However, when I tried calling to it, it ran away. It went up, jumping with a strength that astonished me. To leap so effortlessly at this depth, maybe it's not human? More importantly, where did it come from? <sighs> Rig. Rico, beside it there's a piece of paper with only writing on it. It seems kind of short for a letter. Hmm. Let's see here. At the netherworld's... At the netherworld's bottom, I'll be waiting. So what made you steal this... note that says... At the netherworld's bottom, I'll be waiting. Well, cause my mother wrote that letter to me! So it's mine! Well then, what are you planning to do, Rico? I'll head for the bottom of the abyss, where my mom is waiting! Hey now, are you serious? Yes. That's why I want your help. I'm against it! The bottom of the abyss? You talk about it like it's no big deal. But if you go there, you'll never be able to come back. What's this all of a sudden? I've always wanted to be a White Whistle. Of course I'm prepared for that. No, you don't get it, Rico. You'll never be able to see any of us up here ever again, you know? That's right. You won't be able to hang out at Auntie's, have Leader teach you stuff, or play with any of us here again. That's right! Like I said... <laughs> like I said... I know that, okay? <sighs> hey, Nat. Looks like Rico has already made her decision. Pushing her would just hurt her. Mm. Fine. Whatever. But Rico, are you taking Reg with you? You're probably thinking it will be okay because you got Reg, huh? I didn't ask him to come with me at all. What? I thought it'd be wrong to hug Reg all to myself. Besides, it's really dangerous for him to go when he still doesn't have his memories. Then you were planning to leave Reg here? I don't know. Ah, oh, jeez. Hurry up and go see how he feels about it. Does that mean I really am a robot? In that case, that humanoid silhouette from the letter was me before I lost my memory? Why was I created? Shiggy mentioned something about an obod. So am I just a relic then? I want to know. I want to know what I really am. 
I really enjoy living here, and it'd be hard to leave everyone behind. But... I want to confirm what I am. Really? Is that how you really feel? Yes. There is only one lead. The answer lies at the bottom of the netherworld. That is it. Just maybe the reason I was created, even the reason I came to Orth. All of that could be answered if I can get to the bottom of the abyss. That's what... I believe. That's why I want to aim for the bottom of the abyss. That's why I'll follow you, even if you turn me down. I wouldn't do that. Even though I want to see my mother, I couldn't bring myself to ask you. I already knew how you felt. I'll protect you all the way to the bottom of the netherworld. Of course. I think we are set. Yep. Look, Rico. Sorry to burst your bubble, but let me still say this. Are you really going to go see your mother? Yes, I am. Mom said she's waiting at the bottom of the netherworld. Do you really think anyone could live somewhere like that for ten years? What? What are... Think about it. Why did her whistle make its way up here? Your mom died a long time ago. That's not true. It could be. Even if what you say is true, I'm still going. I must confirm it with my own eyes. That's what a cave raider does! Oh. Yeah, you're right. You have to see it with your own eyes. <sighs> Fine! I don't care anymore. Just do whatever you guys want to do. Mad. I was going to do everything I could to stop you if you went by yourself, but... Reg, take care of Rico. Yes. Roger. Well then, when are you thinking of setting off? I'm gonna wait for daybreak and then dive into the abyss! In that case, going down from the wharf quarter in the slums might be good. You should guide them, Nat. Why me? Well, you know a lot about the wharf quarter. <sighs> Fine. I will guide you guys. There's a perfect place to go down to the abyss. I'll show you. So, this is where we go down from. Looks like it'll be fine if you stretch your arm, Reg. Hey, Rico. Are you ready to go? <sighs> of course I'm ready! Got it. In that case, I'll get ready to go down the abyss. Do you have a planned route through the abyss? Currently, I'm thinking our goal is Seeker Camp, near the end of the second layer. I'm planning to ask the sentry there where they found Mom's sealed envelope. Then you're aiming for the second layer, the Forest of Temptation. If a red whistle descends that far, no help will be sent after them. Both heading there and returning home becomes very difficult. It's treated as a suicide. Hey, isn't there other stuff we need to talk about? Matt? Uh, Riku... You know, I... <laughs> Damn it! Dad, don't cry. It's alright. Even if we ever get to see each other again, we'll be connected by the abyss. Be at 
on the surface, we're in the far reaches of the cursed netherworld. We're connected by the abyss! I'll never forget about the time I spent up here. Ever. So it'll be okay! <laughs> what now? There you go again. Yes, there she goes again. That's right. I am at it again! Be careful, all right? And it's fine if you decide to head right on back here. I'm counting on you to take care of Riku. Roger. You guys take care. Thanks, you two. Well then, here we go! Just sense something. I'm on. Hey Rico, are you ready to go? Of course I'm ready.
just sensed something. I just sent... Yeah. What happened, Rico? Whoa. That's way brighter here than up on the surface, huh? Amazing! Due to the distortion in the force field, we can't see the surface, huh? Hmm? That boundary looks awfully bright. Is that distortion carrying the light downward? How terrific, Reg! At this pace, we can make it to the bottom of another world! Of course, we can't let our guard down, you know. We might even make it to the second layer before anyone comes after us! Well, well that's good to hear. Thank you. 
just says it's a dick. What do we do? Do we fight it here? That's right. I forgot all about this. What is it, Reg? I just remembered finding this in my back pocket. What's this? An envelope? Well, go ahead and take a look inside. closer look. The pages we saw last time were tattered. So this is probably just a copy, right? Right. Huh. But why? I didn't have the opportunity to bring it up, but before we left the orphanage... Reg, where are you going? To... to the bathroom. What are you doing up in the middle of the night yourself, leader? I'm on patrol, you fool. I do this every night after you all fall asleep. Speaking of which, any idea where Rico is? She doesn't seem to be in her room. Rico... went to take a dump. In the middle of the night? She has the runs. 
She's scavenging for food again? Jeez, that girl. <sighs> You're on your way to the bathroom too, right? Stay with her and make sure she's okay. Roger. That's what happened. Why a dump? At the time, I thought I really had him fooled. But then, I found that thing in my back pocket. And I think he is pretty much the only one who could have done it. Leader, I wonder if he's cheering us on. Hmm? I think that might be it, but... It doesn't seem right. One page is a different size than the others. <gasps> what happened, Rico? I'll depart at dawn to capture you. Wow. Did Leader write that? There are pursuers coming for us already? Pursuers? Yes, there's no doubt. In that case, we're in trouble. Besides, if we make it to the second layer, no one will come after us. At least that's what Shiggy said. But why would Leader warn us in the first place? <sighs> he must be testing us. This is like our final exam, you know? The point is that if we get caught now, then we're not cut out to make it to the bottom of the netherworld. I see. Roger. Sticky thing, Rico. Right behind you. It's a silk thing. What do we do? Do we fight it here? No, I have a plan. Right to that edge. Rico, are you okay? <sighs> yeah, I'm okay. I'm just fine. She's not used to this, so I bet it's draining her stamina. It's her first time this deep, and we're on an unmarked path. What is it, Rick? Uh, it's nothing. Seems our pursuers still haven't caught up with us yet. We've strayed away from the usual route. So even if they come after us, they won't find us that easily. Besides, the search party is moving groups of at least three people, so we should see them coming. In that case, Rico, let's take a little break. What? But... I doubt they can catch up to us that fast. And plus, I need to pee anyway. Ah, well then, I will too. Hey, Rico, I 
was thinking about the delusion you had about the meaning of the letter. You mean about this being our final exam? It's no delusion! Yeah, I think you might be right. Just maybe he was able to see through us. And uncover our nightly plotting. He may even know the fact that I'm a robot. Ugh. On top of that, if he took the trouble to place that envelope in my pocket, then we need to make a clean escape and show him we're up to the task. Yep! Oh. I just sensed something. What's the matter, Reg? They're right above us. <laughs> when did they catch up to us? Just one person. Can we slip away somehow? <laughs> I'd expect nothing less from Liza's daughter. I see you're quite fast. Rico, how about that? I'm not so shabby myself, now am I? Uncle Hobbo? But why? Black Whistle Hebolg. He's this skilled and not even a white whistle? What should I do? I could let Rico escape alone first. That being said, Reg... Well, I never suspected it. That you were a supreme treasure of the Netherworld, I mean. Hey, let's take a good look. No, let me feel you. Huh? Is even your skin a relic? Can't tell just by looking now, can you? <laughs> um, Uncle Hobble? <laughs> Sorry, my bad. I still haven't told you what I'm here about. See, I didn't actually come to capture you two. Take them all the way to Seeker Camp. Just help them escape to the second layer. Besides, this is your last chance to see the true form of a supreme treasure of the Netherworld. Even White Whistles are unlikely to find one of those. Reg is really fast. But with your speed, I'm sure you can catch up to them, Uncle Habo. Okay, I'm going. So, you see, I came to pay my respects to this supreme treasure of the Netherworld. <laughs> and she said that? I wish paying your respects was the only thing you did. <laughs> by the way, the search party was looking for you by the Twisted Crag. They should take a while still, eh? Thank goodness. Well then. I've had a look at the treasure of the Netherworld, so I'd better fulfill my promise to those boys. I'm coming along with you to the Seeker Camp. Really? You bet. It'll be reassuring to have a Black Whistle with us, right, Rico? Uncle uh, Hubble? Um... Oh? What is it? I'm sorry. Eh? You've got to be kidding! Oh, I see. A final exam, huh? Pretty clever of him, really. Well, if that's the case, there's nothing I can do, is there? But he really should have come himself to see you off one last time. Ah, that wouldn't work, because he'd catch you right away then, huh? <laughs> I'm sorry, Uncle Hobbo. I mean, you came all this way and everything. Don't worry about it. But, since I won't be accompanying you any farther, I should tell you this now. This is very important. It's about that seeker camp you're headed for. The Guardian there is a bit of a strange one. 
You mean the person who found my mom's sealed envelope? Yes. The unmovable sovereign, Ozen the Immovable. The white whistle who's still active. Rico, after you were born in the depths of the abyss, she's the one who carried you within the curse repelling vessel. She brought you to the surface along with Liza. The white whistle. But Hebold, that doesn't seem like anything to be too worried about. <clears throat> Please be wary of White Whistle Ozen. I can't get into the details personally, but you might encounter distressing things at Seeker Camp. Rico, please be prepared. I'll be fine. Plus, I'd like to meet a White Whistle. I want to ask her about my mom, too. You're right. You'll be fine. You have an encouraging partner with you, after all. Beg, take care of Rico. Roger. Just leave it to me. Well, then we're heading out now, Uncle Hobo. All right, off you go. Don't dawdle, otherwise I'll become a white whistle and catch up to you, you know. Okay, please give our best to Auntie. In the end, we're just the Netherworld's lost children. Sooner or later, I knew this day would come. Take care, Rico. What's that? They apparently used them to capture updrafts a long time ago. I hear they've been around for more than 4,000 years. They've done well to last so long. And the fact that we've passed them means... So this is the second layer. We made it to the Forest of Temptation! We did it, Rag! We passed the final exam! Is that so? Sure is! Leader, we pulled it off! Oh. It hasn't quite hit me yet. Did we really get away from them? Sure did! 
We don't have to worry about anyone coming up. Sure as now. If we descend this far, no one will come after us. Because both getting here and returning home are very difficult. I'm quite sure that's what Shiggy said. In other words, down here, even a search party would find itself being pursued. We haven't escaped at all, have we? Now we're being pursued by all kinds of things that exist outside the world of man. Let's hurry, Rake! They might be going for help! Understood. Our destination is Seeker King, located at the end of the second layer. I just sense... I'll drive that thing away. <gasps> what was that? What's wrong, Reg? Quiet, Rico. There's somebody here. 
I hear it. Where is it coming from? Over there. Someone's crying for help. Down on the ground there. It's a cave raider. I'll drive that thing away. Rag, wait! Don't go. It might be a trap. That thing's a corpse sweeper. They mimic their captured prey's cries for help. Anyway, they do that to lure more prey to their colonies. Which means that person's already... Irredeemable. Oh no, they're coming! Let's run, Reg! Rico! More of them are gathering up? How careless of me! Rico, there's going to be... No! Don't do it! What... What can I possibly do? What is this feeling? My body remembers. I've done something like this before. More of them are gathering up? How careless of me! Rico, there's going to be... No! Don't do it! What... What can I possibly do? What is this feeling? My body remembers. I've done something like this before. Just what? What in the world am I? <sighs> Was I passed out? Rico, Rico, are you? Oh, Red, you're up! Hey, so, are you all right? No matter what I did, you wouldn't wake up! I am fine. Rather than that, Rico, how are you? Are you okay? Yeah, thank you, Reg. I slightly remember that you saved me. And that crazy light was shot by you, right? Yeah, I kind of lost myself in the moment. Hey, so it did come out of your hand, right? I wonder what we should call it. How about the incinerator? Uh, Rico, I'm not really in the mood for this. I almost blew you away, too. If that had happened, I... Difficult opponents, you know. We should think of it as a huge power on our side to fight our foes. So, let's train together and master this power. Oh. Understood. Hmm. Maybe you couldn't wake up because you were too tired from firing your incinerator. 
that might be it. I have to be really careful when I use this. Now, let's get going. We just got to the Forest of Temptation. Let's head to Seeker Camp.
Hey, Rico. Just 
sensed something. I'll drive that thing away.
just sense something.
to go? Of course I'm ready! Rico. Just sense it. 
Is this the right way to Seeker Camp? Yeah, we should be able to see it soon. I told you I know where we're going. Master, Master, something's approaching. It's two people. One's a red whistle, and the other one doesn't even seem to be a cave raider. So, Master, shall I ready the gondola? Um, Master, you're... This is Seeker Camp, huh? Whoa! It's really quite high up there. <laughs> so that brat's still alive. She's towering. I bet she is over two meters tall. Her hair. How did she manage to style it like that? On top of that, there's that white whistle. This woman must be the white whistle. The unmovable sovereign, Ozen the Unmovable. No, you're Liza's kid, right? Um, you must be Ozen, right? That's right. I'm Ozen. Well, let's not stand around and talk. Let's go upstairs. Oh. Rico, are you okay? Oh my. Well done enduring the ascent. Although the strain is somewhat lightened around here, I suspect it was still hard on children like yourselves. <coughs> ah, <laughs> how filthy. Oh, I see the boy is doing fine. Yeah, I am fine. Follow me. I'll listen to your stories over here. That, huh? That thing was heavy. Along the way, I often thought about just abandoning you. Huh? This really takes me back. We even had to leave behind that precious bell. 
Hey, you're a red whistle, right? You should know you're not allowed to come to a place like this. Um, well, you see, I was summoned by my mother. That's why Reg and I are going to the bottom of the netherworld. Rico. As soon as I ask some things about my mother, we'll be gone before you know it. So, please. Oh, I see. So that's it. And you think that makes it okay for you to come here? Uh, I'm sorry. That said, I'm quite interested in how a red whistle even managed to make it all the way here. Maruk? Yes, Master. Listen to what these kids have to say. You want me to do that? Should be easier for kids to talk to another kid, right? I still have some things to attend to, you see. I'll hear you out tomorrow. Stay the night tonight. And make sure to really give your bodies a good scrub. I can't stand how bad you reek of vomit. In that case, I'll go ahead and wait at the bathing area. I'm gonna go bathe. Gotta get nice and clean. Understood. got through. No, everything is okay. over there. It's actually used for washing relics, but it does have a flowing mineral spring. I'll go first. I'm gonna get nice and clean. Reg, I know you're a robot, but there's something strange about you. Until Rico told me, I thought you were a human. I don't really even think of myself as a robot. What the heck am I in the first place? By the way, Maruk, is it okay if I call you that? Yes. To tell you the truth, there's something I find strange, too. It's about what you're wearing. Huh? Uh, this... this is what Master wants me to... I see. So, you too have it tough then, huh? Seems we both have our share of troubles. Now, Reg, I haven't had anything that bad done to me. Oh, I see you two are getting on well. How is it? I don't smell anymore, right? Yes, you are good. Baruch, you're about my age, but you're already a blue whistle. Huh? Uh, yeah. Usually, you can't become a blue whistle until you turn 15. But it seems being a personal apprentice of a white whistle makes me a special case. Right after I had an accident and collapsed, Master found me and took me in. I've been here ever since. Oh? You have no plans to return to the surface? I'm sensitive to sunlight, so I can't live up there anyway. Ever since Master found me, she's proactively taken on the role of guardian over Seeker Camp. This way, I don't have to return to the surface all the time, is the reason she gives. And of course, there must be some truth to it, but Master truly takes good care of me. She seems kind of scary, but she's a really good mentor, huh? Yes, truly. Oh, I know! Rico! Rick! I'll go ask Master if it'd be okay. But would you like to stay a bit longer and cave raid around here? 
What? Oh, would that really be all right? It's the first time kids around my age have come here. I'd really love to talk and work with the two of you more. Me too. I'd also like to do that. But... I'm sorry, Maruk. My mother's at the bottom of the netherworld, and I still don't know how she's doing. So, I'm not sure whether to hurry or not. And since I'm not sure, I have to hurry. Is that so? Then let's chat a whole bunch today! That's what my master instructed me to do anyway! Yeah! Understood. Good morning. I've relayed yesterday's conversation to Master. When I did, she said she has something to talk about with you two, so she wanted you to come to her chamber. Got it. Thank you, Maruk. You wanted to hear everything, but are you prepared to take it in? Of course! Can you tell me about my mother? Maruk told me about you two this morning. Just to confirm, you're trying to follow Liza's trail, correct? Yes. My mother has called for me. Liza's white whistle was returned. She is dead. Your quest to find your mother ends here. Ozen, why would you say such a thing? But... Mother is calling for me. That letter? It's not Liza's handwriting. <gasps> I don't know how such a thing got mixed in there. But Liza wouldn't write something like that. Even as a joke. Uh, um, but. Um, what was your reason for aiming for the bottom of the netherworld again? Uh, I uh, want to go and check for myself. Besides, what about the connection between Reg and the mysterious figure mentioned in the letter? Oh, I see. It's not a matter of you not noticing. It's more that no one told you anything, huh? What? What are you talking about? Now, look at this. A big white box? What is this cube thing? The pattern on the surface is incredibly complex. Seems to be at least a grade two relic. But the compilation of recorded relics... Right. It's not listed. Liza bought it herself before it could be auctioned off. I'm the one who carried it here, though. <gasps> Could this be... the curse-repelling vessel? You're half right. When living creatures that couldn't make the trip from the depths were placed inside it and carried up, the strains of ascending didn't affect them and they survived, which is why it got the name it did. But that's not actually true. <gasps> In fact, whatever is placed inside still gets affected by the curse and dies. However, a corpse inside starts moving around. It's thanks to you that I came to understand that. You were stillborn, you know. Stillborn? Right. I shoved you inside there because you were a real nuisance. 
But somehow, you started to move. Huh. What? What I mean is that you are a walking corpse. With that said, don't you think it would make sense for you to return to being a corpse at any moment? Hey, how long are you going to last, I wonder? Why, the things you're saying... It's about time you get the picture. I despise you. That's enough! Uh, what is it, you obod child? Your story is quite interesting, but don't hurt Rico any more than you already have. Any way you look at it, you're really immature, Ozen! That's something I used to hear a lot. Hey, you. Do you have a conception of what God is? <laughs> what are you talking about all of a sudden? You see, the people around here don't really believe in God. Instead, do you know what it is they do believe in? The answer is this place. The Abyss itself. Precisely because the bottom of the netherworld is unknown, and because it is feared, it has the power to become their god. Ozen. If it were easy to head down and return back, the value of relics and abyssal faith would quite possibly be shaken to the core. The reason Obards aren't catalogued isn't because they haven't been discovered. It's because they shouldn't exist, you see. Please stop! Ozen! Rico, stay back! Hey, you. Did I hear that you lost your memory? Well, I'm truly glad. I need to dispose of you before you remember anything. M master what are you planning to do? Oh, Maruk, where did you learn to listen in on conversations? I... I... I'm sorry. I'm going to check on the telescope. Maruk, stay right there. At least stay for the last moments of your friends. How cold of you. Why? Master! You... You can't be serious. As if I'd let things end in a place like this. I'll make you let us go, even if I have to use brute force! Oh, I'll let you go. After you've ceased moving, that is. There's no choice. I have to fight! So, I see you breathe and 
blink, even though you're just a mechanical doll. That means you too are likely to be hunted by beasts. That thing of yours, what happens when it hits something? Let's test it out on this brat. <laughs> Oh my, incredible, isn't it? It blasts straight through. I've never seen a weapon like this before. Irredeemable! You're irredeemable, Odin! Huh? What? What's with your arm? Is something embedded in it? Oh, these? They're called the Thousand Men Wedges. I inserted them at 120 points or so all around the body. They're the secret to my vigor. <laughs> For as much as you criticize me, you're quite superhuman yourself, Ozen! Well, I am attentive to such things. I'm getting on in years, after all. These are the last moments of your life. Enjoy them. Rebound from shooting the incinerator. I have to fight back. Hmm. What happened? You look rather limp all of a sudden. No. My consciousness is fading. You're so noisy. If you think he's so precious, you should have kept him locked away. For some reason, he went limp all of a sudden. It's fine, though, right? Sooner or later, you'll revert back to being a piece of meat anyway. I... I... didn't descend into the abyss because I hope to live a long life. Even just a little longer is okay. I can't bear it if it's not together with Reg! Please, Reg! Don't give up! Rico. That won't do. You two aren't cut out for it. Uh, uh, what happened? <laughs> He woke up! He is awake. Is he broken? Greg! What... What's going on? <laughs> Rico! You, you actually moved! Rick! Ray! I'm sorry, Ray! Sorry! Did I just faint and leave Rico all alone here? Even though I was told to take care of Rico. Oh, this one's crying too now. Oh my. Ozen has made yet another one cry. Poor things. Who, who the heck... Uh, are you guys... <laughs> you mean us? We're the subterranean bandits. Ozen's cave raider squad. They're a bunch of good-for-nothings with nowhere to call home on the surface. They were told to stay out of it. But Maruk called them here, you see. Uh, um, I... A little girl who can't do anything but fuss and cry. And a mechanical doll who fires his weapon without thinking, despite the fact it made him faint before. 
while those two didn't even make a single correct decision, you took the best course of action to save your friends. That's my apprentice for you. Master! As punishment for disobeying my orders, I'll string you up naked later, though. Be prepared, Maruk. <laughs> we were told to stay hidden while the two kitties are here. But everything kept on shaking. Then this child started sobbing and came rushing over to us. Uh, is that right? Maruk, I'm sorry. It's okay, Reg. I know you said you wanted to test Liza's kid, but you really overdid it. Huh? Wh what do you mean by that? Just what it sounds like. Are you saying that was all just... just some act? I was serious. If I didn't go all out, I wouldn't get my point across, would I? I hate silly tricks, you know. The, then that stuff about disposing of the obod was... I wouldn't do that, of course. You just turned out to be too sturdy, you know. No matter how much I pounded on you, you weren't breaking. So I got more and more into it. How irredeemable. The primeval creatures that inhabit the deep parts of the abyss are far more cunning and tough than I am. If you stay this way, you won't be able to protect that girl. <laughs> so, I'll train you guys a little bit. What? Ozen? If you continue pushing on at your current skill level, you'll just end up as poor meals or little seed beds. Or you'll just be a stain on the ground or some wall. Though there's no guarantee you won't end up like that as I'm trying to beat you into shape. That's it for today's lesson. Get some rest. Yes, thank you very much, Ozen. When you are ready, exit this seeker camp and come to the edge of the abyss. I'll be waiting there. Understood. <laughs> Let's do it, Rico. Yeah! 